Good morning. Got a classical sunrise this morning. It's been a while. A number of days. <laughs> what a joy it is. And Jacob was limping at sunrise. He had a rough wrestling match. But the scripture says he prevailed, which is it's a very mysterious encounter. The waning moon. And his name is changed to one who struggles with God. In Hebrew, Israel. Struggling, wrestling. And then it's all the more surprising that it says he prevailed. But in a certain sense, we're invited in that way. As puny and little as we are in the physical universe. That we struggle with God and we think of the encouragement we get to pray, like the widow who is constantly petitioning the judge for justice. God invites us not to be passive. He invites us to struggle. We can ask questions of God. The Psalms are full of these. Why does the wicked man triumph? A good question Elijah would have or John the Baptist could have in front of Herodias. Why do the wicked triumph and cut his head off? Are you the one who is the Messiah? You're very meek and humble. We wanted a warrior. So these are big themes in, in, in the scripture, you know? And we don't sit down and passively put up with injustice. On the other hand, we also don't take violence into our own hands. And this discernment is great. It's a good exercise to ponder how to be active and engaged. And see many people struggling and active in lawsuits with agencies that are unjust, with political systems that are unjust, to use the, the tools that are at hand to also resist evil. It takes courage to write a letter to the editor of a newspaper, to initiate a lawsuit in a free democratic country where human rights have been disrespected, to initiate political action to speak out take on the establishment, the rich man and Lazarus is uh, an interesting situation, the whole area of social injustice and gospel stirs us into action. It wasn't easy for the civil rights movement. And maybe also there are murky areas where when we get involved, we also bring in our own human frailty and difficulties in the battle. 
their selfish interests also at work, so it might be a mixed bag. And that's part of the struggle, the struggle with ourselves, with our passions, the struggle with pride and vanity. You know, it's about us, or is it about the cause? And then along the road, sometimes great promoters of justice and goodness get corrupted sometimes. And then there's scandal, and the God's people struggle with that. Life is a struggle, that's a famous line, isn't it? <coughs> the life of the human being on the face of the earth is combat, it's, it's a struggle. It's not easy, it's not served on a platter, it's not pressing an icon on a phone screen, and your delicious pizza is delivered by Uber. We're a little bit spoiled with that wonderful opportunity our society gives us with all our technology. And we can move stuff physically with buttons, like the construction work starting here now, and thanks for all the support for that. And a guy presses a little button and it lifts a ton of of cement or girders or whatever into the air. So we have reached a great dominion of the physical world. But then there's the issue of the dominion of ourselves, that interior struggle. And the gospel touches on another very, very also dark, mysterious area of the struggle and the man who is mute and dumb and is possessed by a demon. And then he is freed, liberated by exorcism. And it's also interesting today in that vein of this struggle with forces that exceed us, forces that, that are way beyond human reality, you know, Paul's comment that it's not just a struggle here on this earth, it's a struggle between the spiritual powers. That's also give, brings us to ponder. And the harvest is great, but the labors are few. That's the line today in the gospel. Pray for more harvesters, pray for more workers for the harvest. The struggle for continuing the services that the church has built up, so many outreaches universities, schools, educational systems, orphanages, clinics, and to struggle for finding the right people to help and build and continue to serve in that context. What a, a treasure of riches our scriptures give us today. At sunrise, as he left Penuel, Jacob limped along because of his hip. And so we're limping along in our world sometimes. All kinds of things can happen. It's also interesting that Jacob was on a journey yesterday and he had an encounter with God in his dream. This is also at night time. The encounter with the divine can be at sunrise in the morning, and the fullness of day, in a beautifully lit up church with wonderful music, or it can be in the night, in the darkness of the night. 
in the interior struggles. We can't see much. There's not much to hear. The world has gone quiet. And yet there's a big struggle in our soul. Worries, anxieties, ambitions, desires. Hear, O Lord, a just suit, attend to my outcry, hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Justice, I shall behold your face, O Lord. Thank God also for times of calm and recollection in the midst of all our struggles. God bless you. See you later, alligators. May you have a glorious day in your soul and also, God willing, for your body, something to eat good contribution for the community to provide. See you later, alligators.